perfect world. And if I had to guess, at some point in the near future, because, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this. So, uh, YouTube recently announced a feature. Um, well, it's kind of been growing for a while now. Um, but, you know, if you've ever used the Google Translate app, you could do it in real time, right? If you have the app, you could just, like, go into photo mode and, like, read a menu in another language. Or, you know, it does lots of things in real time. But the AI tools... So, Chris always watches my streams in English. The other day, she was in the kitchen. This is maybe two weeks ago. I forgot to talk about this. Um, so, um, she was in the kitchen, and she had a playlist of my videos going because she was watching videos that she had missed because my wife is awesome and watches my stuff. And um, all of a sudden, a video popped up of mine and it was all Spanish dubs with a Spanish title and everything. And she was like, uh, did you pay someone to do your video in Spanish? And I was like, no. And I looked and I was like, that must be a new feature. And I, lo I went over to the YouTube studio and sure enough, there was a uh, an update they had done. YouTube is now for select channels. not It's not all channels, but YouTube is now automatically translating titles of videos they're automatically dubbing with AI. And um, for videos that have a pro, like if they have, if you have like the title on the thumbnail and it's done in a really clear manner, the AI is also translating the title so that people in another country who don't necessarily speak English will see your video in their native language with the title, the description the thumbnail all translated it's super neat so they actually showed the stats um jamie oliver who's a chef in in england his channel statistics jumped three times higher when that feature got turned on he was already an international chef but when people started to be able to watch his content in their native language his interaction and his views and everything jumped by three times that's a huge increase. So I just thought it was pretty cool. Um, and what I was getting ready to, to say, piggybacking off of that, is we're not too far away from live streams being able to be automatically dubbed with AI. Um, and so for all the people who, who get scared about AI and are like, oh, AI does evil things, steals people's art, steals people's music, there is that side of it. But any tool, like a hammer or a screwdriver, can be used for good or bad. And AI is no different. It's just a tool. And like Hector says, right, the future is now. It is pretty damn neat, right? Transcend. So it's going to be pretty cool to be able to see my content. Now, obviously, I can switch to Spanish because I'm reasonably fluent in Spanish. But I don't speak Japanese. I don't speak Portuguese. I don't speak Russian. So to be able to have an international audience of people who, here's the key, can watch my content in their native language, but also type in chat a question in their native language, and then it auto-translates it for me so that I see the question in English in my chat, that's where the AI tools are going. And that is pretty cool, because then it gets into the world of Star Trek, where you have a universal translator, right? where everyone can understand each other because of the automatic translators. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Like the future is now. I'm a big fan. I need to clip that out. Cause I forgot to talk about that completely the other day. I was going to make a video about it and then got sidetracked. <laughs> 